All right, we're carrying on with example one, and just going from the previous, from question A that we did before, we, we figured out at the end of it that the tax you had to pay was $7,127.20. In fact, I probably need to drag this down a little bit so you can see it better. And now what we want to do in question B, it says Julia did not pay enough tax. Now, how do we know that? Well, you'll notice here that it says that her pagey tax, the amount of tax that she paid over the year was 6078 when really she should have paid more like a bit over seven grand. So she's underpaid her tax. It says, how much money did she need to give the tax office at the end of the financial year? Well, because she's already paid most of it, the 6078 to figure out what's left over, we just subtract it. We take away the 6078 from what she should have paid. Let's work that out. 7127.20, minus $6,078, which is $1,049.20. And that would be a bit scary for anyone if at the end of the year they found out they had to give up $1,000 to the tax office. All right, let's look at question C now. Question C says calculate the pagey tax that should have come out of her pay each week. So she's going to pay her tax each week so that she would have paid the correct amount of tax. Okay, so really if she paid the right amount of tax by the end of the year, she would have paid $7,127.20. All right, and because it comes out each week, if she wanted to pay as you go, she, we, should, we should divide that by 52 to figure out exactly how much she should have been paying. And that comes to $137.06. That's what she should have been taken out each week so that at the end of the year she didn't owe any more money to the tax office.